So time is one of the big challenges, obviously, for, for business owners and your clients. Um, and you kind of explained a little bit about how that works. But, but yeah, what are, what are some of the other challenges? Well, one of the big ones is, is simply uh, business clarity. Uh, because I believe that throughout life, I've worked with bi new startup businesses. I'm working with one that's very, very large right now. And I've worked with businesses that have been around for 35 years. And many of them have never been challenged to answer the tough questions that you have to have answered about growing your business and building a business. They've never been forced to answer it the right way. They've been allowed or have allowed themselves to answer those questions the easy way. And so clarity brings back the, the issue, getting pure clarity, and as a business coach, we have about 18 questions that we're going to set down. I'm going to set down and just, just beat them. I'm going to push them off a cliff and grab their collar before they fall to get answer the question right. And it's simple questions like, what business are you really in? Uh, who exactly is your target customer? And, the, and that one question alone has made or broke many businesses. Uh, and I can give you an example of, of one professional services uh, client that I had that everything he had on his website and all of his marketing, and he spent a lot of money every year on marketing, everything was directed towards a male audience. Uh, but when we sat down and started forcing who's your perfect client, he said, well, it's men. And I said, no, that's, that's just too easy. That's, that's not the right answer. Let's well, it's, research it's, it's it. just a really, it's a top of the iceberg answer. Well, while, while we did, yes, yeah, it was the easy answer, and he's allowed himself or, or allowed other people and other coaches to, uh, to accept that. So when we really pushed it, and we ended up, I pushed him to a point where, <laughs> where we ended up going through a large portion of his client files, and what we found out was his actual uh, number one prospect or client was 35-year-old women. Which well, was so that was, that was opposite. completely opposite what he thought. Oh, completely opposite. Yeah. So we we, re we canceled all of his marketing. We restructured the marketing to focus on women. And uh, we cut his marketing budget back by almost 90%. And just by refocusing, having that clarity of who exactly is my client, uh, we grew the business by 41% in the first year. So time so, and clarity, time and clarity are two issues. What's what's a third? Vision. Uh, I can't tell you, uh, you know the statistics as well as I do, that the today's society, only 2%, some say less, only 2% of our society has written goals. Yeah, I've heard three, but it's a pretty small number. It's a, it's a very small number, and there's other statistics, I think Harvard did some research on that said, that 98% of all wealth in the in America is held by that two or three percent, so that's that's proof enough for me that you probably ought to set goals. But most people don't know how to do it, and the vision moving forward is such a key. And I and I can't tell you how many businesses that not ones that are failing, but very successful businesses get get log jammed. They get locked up because they really don't know where they're going past a month or so. So we've got time, and, and we've got time, and we've got clarity, and we've got vision slash goals, really, as three critical components that, that your clients are typically experiencing.